While Erin's popularity is growing in and around St. Louis, her passion for how music can grow young lives far away is our story tonight. Every time I see you looking blue, I feel like crying. Her crystal clear voice fills the hall, melting away another cold St. Louis night. Everywhere I go, it seems to me you're right there with me. Her words transporting the audience away from the rigors of life. She's a presence on the local music scene, growing her audience and her music with every note. Since she was three, songs have been her canvas, her voice, her brush. I think my favorite part of singing is telling a story and making that connection between myself and the audience. There's a story they told me, and I know it to be true. But on stage tonight, the story she is telling is not her own. It's that of a girl's school almost 9,000 miles away. So I got this amazing phone call from a man that works for LCMS, World Relief and Human Care. The man told Bodie about the FEMBA Trust, a nonprofit foundation that operates a school for girls in rural South Africa. FEMBA means hope in Zulu. He said that he had heard their choir and was so amazed by them that he knew that if everyone could hear them, they would want to help. Bodhi and her band agreed. After hearing a demo of the choir, they traveled to South Africa to help them make a CD to raise money for the school. They have no music teacher. On their own, they had 18 choirs because they wanted to sing so much, they formed their own little groups and they learned different songs and they sing. When these beautiful voices first reached Bodhi's ears and her heart, something inside of her changed. For 10 days, Bodhi and her band became immersed in these young spirits and all their dreams, forming a partnership based on trust and music. We would practice with them for like six or eight hours a day, and they would go outside on the breaks that we would give them, and they'd sing. They would just keep singing. <laughs> Sorry. One day, Bodhi asked the girls about a special song that touched her the most. So the girls at the table I was talking to said, yeah, that, that was us, that was us singing. And um, so they started singing this song. <laughs> Their voices were so magical, and they were so perfectly in tune, and, and there was so much passion in what they were singing. From Voices in Africa, <laughs> to a recording studio in South St. Louis. <laughs> to a stage in Soulard. That song became the story. Adam had his guitar and he started playing something and I started singing something, which ended up being the chorus to this song. There's a story they told me their journey of mind, spirit, and soul will certainly drive their future musical endeavors. But perhaps more importantly, it will affect future generations of the Themba Trust Girls Choir. I think we all came home knowing that this was a gift to us as much as it was what we hoped to do for them. The new CD will be launched at the Sheldon on February 23rd. For more information on the Themba Trust and LCMS, as well as a chance to watch Aaron sing the entire song, The Story, visit this story in the cover story section of KSDK.com.